So it's been a little over two weeks now since I've been taking semaglutide. I just took my third injection tonight and I recorded it so that I could share it with you guys. So I'll do that in a little bit. But first, I just wanted to give you a little update. So it's been about eight days since my second injection. I had definitely felt extreme fatigue and a tension headache the day after my second injection. Well, I took my second injection last night. Two things. One, I will never inject it in my upper thigh ever again. It was like really uncomfortable and when I would roll over on that side while I was trying to sleep, I definitely felt it. So I'm going to pout about it. The second thing is I am definitely feeling uh, a little bit of possible side effects today. Um, I have had a tension headache is what it feels like uh, sort of building up over the day. I took Tylenol. It helped a little bit, but it's definitely, definitely affecting me today. And extreme fatigue, which sucks because I drive uh, two hours in the morning and I drive two hours in the afternoon. And this afternoon it was a, a struggle and I'm being safe on the road, but it was just something that I didn't expect to happen. It only lasted that first day. The next day I was completely fine, but that is why I take my injection at night because I just, I would like to sleep most of the side effects away if there are any. So that was on a Tuesday night and today's Wednesday. So I have been kind of staggering my injection date by a day because I'm trying to work my way towards making Friday my primary injection date so that I have the weekend to kind of get over things, basically. Next week I will take my last introductory dose injection and that will be on a Thursday night just in time so that the first time I take the 0.5, which is double what I'm taking now, the first time I take that will be on a Friday night and then I will have the weekend to just be okay. And then I believe that following week is Thanksgiving week, so I'll have the whole week off. And it'll be good, I think. I have a feeling I'm not going to be very hungry this Thanksgiving, so it's a good thing we don't really cook a lot. Okay, cats are clawing things. Definitely still feeling the extreme thirst. I got better electrolytes, so my water doesn't look disgusting anymore. And it actually tastes a lot better. So I ordered a bag. And I'll put a link in the description in case you're interested in them, but I just went on Amazon and looked up electrolytes that people like. And um, this has a few different flavors. It has uh, fruit punch, grape, strawberry lemonade, and cherry. Not a fan of the strawberry lemonade. It's just not my favorite. But I've had the grape, I really like it. The cherry, I really like. I mixed the grape and the fruit punch, that was good. <laughs> no regrets. But um, yeah, so there's like 32 little packets and I probably use like one to two a day. But anyway, that's really helped me because I feel like if I wasn't doing something like that, I would be really dehydrated. Uh, so anyway, oh. Mm. This is what happens when I close the door and they're stuck in here with me. I I just don't, I don't want the door open right now. Like everybody's home and my mom just got here like less than a week ago and she's, she's moved in. I think I know why it hurt so bad to inject in my leg last week. Um, after I injected, I noticed that there was blood and and both times that I've injected in my stomach, so injection one and tonight, injection three, there was no blood, it didn't hurt, and it doesn't bruise afterwards. I don't feel a lump. In my leg, I believe I hit a blood vessel. <laughs> that, was, that was the conclusion that I came to because I looked everywhere online and just was trying to figure something out and then mentioned it to my provider and she said, yeah, you likely hit a blood vessel. So. That kind of sucked, but now I know why it hurt so bad. And now I know why it bled and why it bruised and why I had a lump there. So yeah, never again. 
So some things that I am noticing way more uh, than the first week is the definite lack of appetite. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry all the time. I think about like the reasons why I snack between meals, the reasons why I probably eat more than I should. Like a bag of chips doesn't survive more than a day and a half with me because I will eat out of the bag like a wild person. I have had the same bag of chips for like a week now. My appetite is just, I don't want to say non-existent, but it is so much less than it was before. I think about, oh, that's Willow. <laughs> He's jumping on the Christmas decorations. Anyway, I've seen a few videos that call it food noise and my food noise has been silenced. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like, it's quiet. I used to eat because I was, I was stressed out. I was depressed. I was sad. I was upset because I got in a fight with someone. I was happy and celebrating something at work. Stuff like that. Like there was always a reason. It's like my brain was always going towards food. I don't know. I don't know how to, I don't know how else to describe it, but hopefully some of you understand. It's, it's weird that this whole time I've been doing that and that is not normal. And I feel like for the first time I'm experiencing what it is to have like normal food cues. It's so night and day and like I said, I'm not gonna really expect to lose weight in the introductory dose, but I wouldn't be surprised if I lost a little bit. So we'll see after next week. It's so nice to have that part of my brain quieted down. And I feel kind of sad though that, I don't know, that I didn't know what this felt like. I'm going to try to find some good resistance training workouts on YouTube. So if you have any that you watch and you use and you stand by, let me know what channels they're on and I will check them out. I'm just looking for different things that I could do besides the, oh, wrong hand, besides the treadmill. I just want to look for different things to do. I have um, little resistance bands and I have some light weights, but that's pretty much all I have. Um, so yeah, that's my update. I'm really happy so far. See you next week for my week three update. So I have two of these. One of them I'm going to wipe the top of my vial with before I poke it. And this one is for the injection site on my stomach. These are the sterile needles. And this is my little vial. And it has this little cap on top so it protects it, but I still like to wipe it off. I did just wash my hands, so I am popping the top off. And this time I am going to go on my stomach lesson learned from the other week when I did it on my leg. So I am, the first time I did it was here, so I'm going to do it here this time. And the only rule that they told me was to stay two inches away from my belly button, so that is what I'm going to do. And I took off this part. I'm going to take off the needle side. Teeny tiny microscopic little needle. So I'm going straight in. I get so nervous. I just don't like it. I don't like needles. 